This is the Crowview Note, a new laptop style self powered portable monitor with a keyboard, trackpad, microphone, and speakers. It has been designed to be quickly and conveniently connected to a Raspberry Pi, Jetson Nano, or other single board computer or mobile device. It can also be used as a terminal for many PCs or gaming devices. Before unboxing it, just a disclaimer that this is an early prototype. Elecro sent it over for me to try out and share with you, as they launched their crowdfunding campaign this month, so there may be some changes between this and the device that is eventually shipped out. Included in the box is the Crowview Note, a power adapter, and then two adapter boards, one for the Raspberry Pi 5 and one for an Nvidia Jetson Nano. The body of the Crowview Note is plastic, although it is finished to look like aluminium. It would have been great to have an all metal shell, but I presume they went with plastic to keep the cost down. It weighs a little over 1.1 kilograms or 2.5 pounds, and it has a built in 5000 mAh battery. We'll see what this looks like in terms of battery life in a bit, as this is going to depend on what is being powered. First up, the display is a 14 inch 1080p IPS panel with a refresh rate of 60Hz. Then we've got a keyboard and trackpad. The keyboard feels fairly decent and comfortable to use. The frame is quite thin, so there is a bit of flex if you push down hard on the keys. It definitely doesn't feel like a high-end keyboard, and similarly with the trackpad. You can't click the trackpad at every position. You can only left and right click at the front of the pad. It's got a range of function keys like most laptop keyboards. These keys do things like control the volume and backlight, turn the trackpad on and off, and provide some media controls. Above the keyboard are some indicator LEDs. We've got a status indicator, which is on when the Crowview Note is powered on, and then a caps lock and num lock indicator. Alongside that is a microphone. On the left side we've got a USB port to connect the keyboard, trackpad and other I.O. Then a mini HDMI port for the display input, and then a USB-C port to power the connected device at 5V and up to 5 amps. This has been designed to match the Raspberry Pi 5's power supply requirements. On the right side we've got another USB-C port, this one's full feature though, so devices that support USB-C display port can make use of a single USB-C cable to this port to charge the device and connect to the Crowview Note's display, keyboard, trackpad and other features. Next to that is a headphone jack that redirects the speaker audio. Then we've got another USB port. This port can be used to add peripherals to the connected device. Then we've got a 3.5mm barrel jack. This is for power, provided by the included 12V 4 amp adapter. It would have been nice to have power supplied through a USB-C port, but I'm glad that they've gone with this, rather than a dangerous non-power delivery 12V USB-C power supply that I've seen on some other devices. This little hole next to the power port is an indicator LED that lights up red when the internal battery is charging. The speakers are underneath the Crowview Note. Their product sticker is covering what seems to be an NVMe drive access slot, so I assume that this laptop frame is from an actual laptop and has been repurposed for this product, again likely to keep the cost down. We'll open the bottom up later to take a look inside. So that's an overview of the hardware, now let's get a Pi connected to it and try it out. Flexibility is what Elecro had in mind when designing the Crowview Note. So instead of providing a proprietary port through which the carrier board can be connected, they've designed all the interfaces through standard ports. This means that you can either use their carrier boards to connect specific devices and remove the need for cables, or you can connect devices without a carrier board using standard cables. To connect our Pi to the Crowview Note, we're going to use one of the two included carrier boards. The Pi version connects to the USB-C and HDMI ports on the side of the Pi and then uses a jumper across one of the front USB 3 ports. The carrier board then plugs into the three ports on the side of the Crowview Note. They've added acrylic to the bottom of the adapter board to support the Pi, so it's not hanging on the ports. It's quite well supported by the desk underneath it, even if you press down on it. I've charged the battery up to about 80%, so I'm not going to use the included power cable at this stage. Let's see how it goes being powered solely from the internal battery. Pressing the power button provides power to the Pi 5 to boot up. Once booted up we're on the desktop. The display looks really good. The image quality is great, the colors look accurate, and the viewing angle is relatively wide for a laptop style display. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a number of function keys across the top row. 
I quite like the inclusion of a battery indicator. Pressing this key pops up with an indicator on the bottom right of the display that shows how full the battery is. There's also a full menu with display settings like a traditional monitor. The trackpad feels quite good. You need to turn up the pointer speed, but there's no input lag. You can do the usual tap to click, but can only really physically left or right click the mouse in the front third. The stereo speakers sound okay. They're a little bit tinny at higher audio volumes, but it's nice to have them included as an option. The Crowview's power button is not connected to the Pi's power button, so you need to shut down the Pi safely by either pressing its power button or shutting it down through software. And you'll then need to press the Crowview's power button to remove power to the Pi once shut down. We can easily connect the Jetson Nano by using the second included carrier board. This is a bit quicker than with the Pi, since all of the Jetson Nano's ports are on one side already, so we just need a jumper for power. My Nano's carrier board is unfortunately a 9 to 19 volt board, so I'm going to have to use external power as the Crowview Note only does 5 volts. It might seem a bit strange to have the Pi, Jetson or other computer outside of the laptop style shell. Elecro have made a laptop style computer for a Raspberry Pi previously which integrated it into the enclosure. But this results in a very thick laptop base which reduces portability and access to the Pi. So I prefer this arrangement. This also allows you much more versatility to use different single board computers, mini computers and mobile phones, all with minimal effort. The adapter board for the Pi 5 will also work with the Pi 4, so you can use it for one of those if you want to. Or as I mentioned earlier, you can connect any single board computer up using standard cables instead of the included adapter boards. If you've got devices like a mobile phone or tablet that supports a USB-C attached display, then a single cable provides another display and connects the peripherals. In terms of battery life, I got about 2.5 hours when running a Pi 5 with an NVMe drive and under moderate load. You'd probably get close to 3.5 hours on a light load or when idle on the desktop. They made the USB-C power port specifically to match the requirements of the Pi 5, but it would have been nice to have power delivery available for a variety of voltages. This would provide support for more power hungry devices and for fast charging, so you could use the built in battery as a sort of power bank. Inside the Crowview note we can see the battery. It is a 7.4 volt battery so that gives us 37 watt hours. It would have been great if they increased the capacity of the built-in battery to take advantage of all the space in the enclosure. I think the Crowview Note is perfect for someone who does a lot of travelling or works on a range of single board computers fairly often, like I do. It's obviously not for everyone and isn't going to suit someone who wants to use it as a traditional style laptop computer. If you're not making use of the ability to swap out the connected device often, then this probably isn't for you. I've used this setup with a portable monitor and a wireless mouse and keyboard quite a lot in the past, and I think the Crowview Note would fit right in as an all-in-one replacement for it. It would also be great to see a wide range of adapter boards be made available for different SPCs. I personally would be interested in one for a Pi Zero 2 w A big part of whether this is going to do well or not is going to hinge on the pricing. It's going to be competing against someone buying similar spec hardware individually so its price needs to be competitive with that. I'd say somewhere around $150 would be good value for money, but we'll have to wait and see when they launch it. This product is still in the crowdfunding stage, which obviously comes with some inherent risks. Use your own discretion when supporting these types of projects. Elecro have been around for a number of years and have successfully crowdfunded five other products, so they've been reliable so far. Let me know what you think of the Crowview note in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. 
please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects tutorials and reviews